This bustling hub of activity is a coral reef. Coral reefs form the foundation of some of the most diverse ecosystems on Earth. The structure of the reef provides refuge, shelter, and food to countless sea-dwelling organisms. And the structural complexity of these habitats is often measured by marine scientists to monitor and assess reef systems. It's traditionally measured in situ by divers using chains and tape measures. A diver typically lays a known length of chain over the reef and then uses a tape measure to work out the ratio of the chain's length to the distance between the endpoints to give an estimate of structural complexity. This process is labor intensive and relies upon a 1D measure to provide an estimate of 3D complexity, which is not very reliable. As a result, the measurements are not easily repeatable and, in addition, can cause damage to the reef and put humans at risk. In this video, I'm going to describe a new method for obtaining these measurements using stereo cameras. These cameras can be fitted to autonomous underwater robots, remotely operated vehicles, and diver-propelled camera systems. All of these platforms collect high-quality georeference stereo images with consistent altitude and illumination. Stereo imagery combined with accurate navigation estimates obtained through an algorithm called simultaneous localization and mapping make it possible to create large-scale photorealistic 3D terrain models. These reconstructions are made up of thousands of stereo images stitched together and the resultant reconstruction can cover thousands of square meters. These models can be obtained over large spatial scales with sub-centimeter resolutions. We can then use these digital reconstructions to perform measurements on the reconstructed terrain in post-processing. What's more is that we can compute sophisticated metrics that would otherwise be impossible to measure out in the field. For example, we can use an area-based metric for rugosity instead of a 1D linear measure. This is done by sliding a window over the digital terrain and computing the area of the triangulated surface. Next, fitting a plane to the points allows us to calculate the flat projected area of the surface, and the ratio of the actual surface area to the projected area gives us an accurate estimate of terrain complexity. This method allows us to easily extract other metrics, including slope and aspect. This mosaic shows an example of an AUV dive that covers 3,500 square meters, consisting of almost 10,000 stereo image pairs. The survey spans three distinct habitat zones, sand, coral, and a boundary zone between the two. Using the 3D structure and the method I explained, we can compute slope, aspect, and rugosity at multiple scales. These measurements can be computed at dense resolutions and over extents and depths that were previously not attainable. In this example, the area-based rugosity calculation provides a clear delineation of different habitat types, making it a good descriptor for predictive modeling. These methods enable scientists to quantitatively assess and model reef systems. It also provides a useful tool to monitor changes to these systems over time. If you would like more details on the method, please refer to our publication.